Hi, I'm Peachy. Hello, my name's Patrick. Oh, hello, I'm Jeff. Ooh, oh, sultry, hello, Jeff. sultry like today. I say ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> ding dong. <laughs> Started weird. Started weird. <laughs> I won't lie. Yeah, I mean, people are used to it now. Yeah, I yeah. mean, we, we, we've probably got an idea. Joined, for... Sorry, I was going to go. You've joined us on Painting Face Nighttime Edition. Oh, <laughs> that's where I wear my bikini. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, someone, someone in the, um, I mean, the, the the first what thirty seconds of this podcast, back it up. Um, so, <laughs> some, someone in the Discord was like, "How come you guys on on the Games Workshop affiliate program?" And, uh, <laughs> And then, <laughs> have they not watched any of them <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, and then um, they were like so someone else commented and they were like realistically you know they maybe had a good chance but when they start talking about pegging <laughs> <laughs> it just went downhill from there really didn't it I mean oh. I, I did it in the studio and I didn't get taken off any affiliate program when I was there so <laughs> no no or did I mm, mm. maybe yeah maybe that's why you're here now yeah yeah, yeah. let's go yeah. with that yeah mm. so how we all yeah. been all good been good thank you very much yeah yeah been good I sounded quite exasperated. <laughs> I was like, oh, God, tell us, are you all right? Oh. I've been good, but Christ, it's took some effort. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm knackered. <laughs> oh, so... Mm. We have a topic. We do have a topic. We might we? go off tangent. What, or yeah. sidetracked. Oh, that wouldn't be like... I can't, uh, I can't even remember what the topic is. Well, the topic, it was your idea, or was it your idea? I think it was a bit of both, wasn't it? It was... Yeah. Um, well, the question is, which will lead into the topic. Oh, we're going to talk about the weather, aren't we? Yeah, that's it, yeah. Forecasting. Oh, oh. got you. Hey. Forecasting oh, with products. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. How easy have you found it to buy your kill team? Mm. Over the last couple what, of months. What is it called? Soul Shackle? Soul Shackle. And before that, don't forget Shadow Vault. Yeah. As well. Yeah, that, that was, was the yeah, same. Yeah. It's happened with both kill teams yeah. now, hasn't Yeah, it? so that's the subject, isn't it? Yeah. Why are Games Workshop currently making it difficult to buy certain things? So, I mean, I've got a couple of theories because I've, I've, yeah. I've been experienced enough to have seen the sides of it. So, you know, See, Devil's Advocate I, hat will come on and well, sometimes it will come off. I mean, this is interesting because I also have some theories, but they're backed up with no expertise <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say mine's expertise is just like rumblings <laughs> <laughs> the old conversation so i think sometimes they're they don't expect it to do so well because mm-hmm. uh, it is a forecasting department you do need to like have a finger in the air yeah work out in comparison to previous ones how many they've sold m- make that or make something closer or slightly less because you don't want stuff in the warehouse now there is a big thing at the minute where you don't want i mean it's been going on for a good decade now where this the prime space in the warehouse is is for stock that actually sells and okay. you want to make sure that you don't have like stuff sat there for years and years and years not doing anything because it could be yep. product that could be being shipped through and sold through yeah. which yeah. is what i don't understand this one particularly like spray paints there's like a rule of like only 12 and it's only a range of 12 and it might have changed but i've only ever seen 12 i remember I it being you, said at, i heard you tell me this yeah because yeah, yeah. i um i didn't realize that there used to be a, like an official avalanche sunset Spray. Yeah, yeah. There's Incubi um, Darkness, Avalanche Sunset, Mournfang Brown, Rhinox Hyde, Storm Vimifer. They were all mega, and they no longer exist. Well, the other problem they used such to have. Such a shame. I know. Back in day when I first still got when I first still got that's into it. the hobby, it, Dave's been on, and we've all got our Yorkshire. <laughs> yeah, that's it, that, yeah. um, is that um, they used to uh, spray paints used to be limited edition, didn't they? When they go like I remember when oh, Space yeah, Wolves yeah. came out third edition, like Space Wolves came out. Space Wolf Grey came out, and then oh, so within within less than a year, Space Wolf Grey was gone. And is, then was Death Guard Green new when they ca- when they came out? Oh, no, no, Death Guard Green was quite a recent, probably the last. Eight oh, sorry. Years. So, like, uh, did Death Guard Green come out when, with Eighth Edition with Death Guard? When I believe so. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, like, Rune Lord Brass came out with the um, uh, Necrons. So usually, yeah, so, so, yeah, yeah we'll trigger okay. it. We'll yeah. trigger it, and but now, thankfully, they stay lingering along long with them because you know if you think about it if it'd been the old third edition way yeah. death guard green would be gone by now yes. but it's, it's yeah. still going thankfully but um yeah so it used to be like because i remember like dark angels green and then sometimes people i remember back this is like in the late 90s there'd be a panic on where you'd see people would start a new army wouldn't buy about blum and four cans of spray because yeah, yeah. they knew that it was 
it was going to go, you know. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, because so, yeah, that must be to... if Death Guard Green goes, like such a pain in the ass. So the, oh. the thing for me is, it should be Soviet Green. You'll go with. Yeah, well, I mean, that's why our Army Painter and From... Citadel oh, Forge, yeah, uh, yeah Colour Col- Forge. Forge. I keep saying Citadel Forge, Colour Forge do Colour Forge, exact yeah. matches. Yeah. yeah, they do exact matches. Um, yeah. Because of this alone, so you're go smelly green. It's called. So I, I, I <laughs> when I when I moved <laughs> over to Warmer TV, I yeah. um, did some prep on a Marathi video. And it made sense to spray her with storm vermin fur, and then I did a little cheeky sort of because mm-hmm. she has like a a red recess that goes up to grey in like all her snake body and wings. All right, uh, and I was like, what I'll do is I'll spray that because it's perfect storm vermin fur, and I'll get corn red. This was before like any contrast were available. Maybe I probably use contrast now, and then I thinned it down. And I play, played it all over the wings and the body, and just wiped with my thumb, and it kind of just gave it a nice blend, and yeah. it looked almost Sounds identical. Good. I did a bit of a dry brush of the actual paint of storm vermin fur, and then I think I used a lighter thing like carrot stone maybe. And then finished the video. The video went out. We were then told by Hobby Products, oh, that paint's been removed now. It's like, could you have told this? So, so what those storm were reverse st- So we had to then, in the feed, uh, the Facebook comments, go use Mechanica Standard Grain. And so we were like, why don't you use that to start off? It was like, oh, sure, just have a go yeah, at me. For yeah, the gut. yeah, yeah. I look it, stupid now. Yes, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it makes... It makes you, yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, for, for a short period of time, you could have had 13 on the shelves, but it was this weird rule. And the weirdest thing for me was the fang was on there for so long and no one used the fang. And the fang was the wrong colour to paint Space Wolves because it's like the darkest shade. Yeah. But you want to like a mid-tone so you can like highlight up and shade down. Yeah. You don't want the darkest colour because you have to like, as we've said before, tediously yeah. layer up for hours or wet uh, overbrush and then like tidy up in the sand. Yeah. You know, it yeah, doesn't yeah, yeah. speed up your painting at all. But the fang, I, I hate it as a colour and it was on there for a long time I because there's 12. Blame you because you're peachy the spray paint czar. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but so this goes back to things like the... Um, the two kill team sets uh, as someone forecast it because they want to make sure there's enough yeah. to go out but not to clog up space in the warehouse or yeah. have they made enough more than they thought they were going to make that they, they were like we'll have spares for like a couple of weeks yeah but actually it did better than people realized because no one actually sees the numbers right of yeah how many have sold yeah. out yeah but then the scalpers have got in because it's like they're adding 100 quids on yeah there's, oh, yeah. there's someone, yeah. someone yeah. posted in goddamn our, scalpers in why our... do that like, why let them have that power it annoys yeah. me yeah Someone posted in the Discord uh, in eBay, which was 210 quid. Yeah, yeah. Well, so cheeky 100 quid extra. The other thing that hasn't helped is the fact that they, 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 they've been not producing enough. And then what they did then is really dragged their blooming feet on releasing getting them the, out into them the, in their individual Releasing boxes. the individuals, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, if, am, I rightly, am I right in saying it's only, only last couple out. of weeks, the breaches have only just come so, out? Um, really? So the breaches... They did like a... Big so, drop uh, one sorry, what, what was in box one? Breaches. Box one was and breaches and crutes. Yeah. 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 So box one and box two individual miniatures yep. have only just come out this Saturday. Just yeah, gone, yeah. like at the time of recording. Yeah. And did they th- have caskins or caskins? Yes. Yeah. They've now come they out went out well, the yeah. same. That was yeah. the same release. Yeah. Yeah. So if you think you're a guard player, and your army's now just filtering through, and then you think how long ago Blumen yeah. kill team was out, and yeah. then it was a kill team box that was then difficult to buy, yeah, and yeah. only now your cars can come yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not it's like they've got enough of the... Because it seems like it's... The, the past two kill team boxes have been affected. Yeah. Um, like, the first one seemingly was... did okay. Or like, I still see boxes of that hmm. when you go into, like... But they will do, because the first one, you're required to keep that one on the shelf for a while, because it's got your starter book in it. Oh, okay. Because it's with you that's know, something as well. They've started removing the star books. I noticed that with Warcry, you'd get like the core book in the set, whereas you yeah. don't now. You just get the you have to get the core book separately. Mm. But I think the price is the same. Oh, so crazy. that that that's something that I noticed when you got the um, I forget what the, sh- the new box sets called now because we're not I've not done much with Warcry for like, the last. few Oh yeah, months, so. yeah, we got the latest. Yeah, Warcry. so you know well, that, that, that's a plan somewhere like, down the line. But yeah. yeah, so you don't get the core rules in there. You just get the little additional sort of campaign pack for the stuff yeah, inside that box. Yeah, so because we didn't get box one, like the Heart of Gerd, yeah, do we? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's super interesting. So another, another thing, I was just going back to my original point, yeah. which is like, you know, it could be that it's about space in the warehouse. It yep. could be that they've actually made loads and just sold through more than they expected to. Because yep. that does happen. I mean, yeah. you, you yeah. think, you, again, it's finger in, in the air kind of job. Or it might be, as we've uh, I've experienced in the past, a lot of those people in forecasting aren't hobbyists and don't really know what people like or want. So I know a lot of it as has gone by our video and my Instagram post of the Kazakin is that's they the most successful very popular, inter, inter, yeah. Instagram post I've ever had. Um, just showing that one Kazakin sergeant and that video did really, really well in the yeah. early yeah. days. Yeah. Um, I know it would do well. I know that Inquisitorial Stormtroopers would do well, which is why we 
pitched it as one of the three options. Yeah. Um, but I'd sometimes wonder if it's just someone that doesn't really do the hobby and goes, nah, it's just some more walls in it and some, some Necrons, it's an upgrade set and just some dudes with guns. So it could be that. It could be yeah. not knowing what the market wants. And I think, but I think if they do this, if this happens again with the next one in two, three, four, five months' time, you'd be like, Come on, it really will be getting silly. Yeah, yeah. You need to do. I wonder if you why can, it's been Kill Team that's been like the. Yeah, the if you're going to do this, if you're going to do this, speed up the release of the Blum and Individual Squad box. Well, I get that. Yeah. I mean, you want you want to get the you want you want people to buy that box set. Yeah. So you want you want to make the money on that box set, right, and get your costs back. I mean, I guess this is why it's like you know you've made some nice new internal corridors so you want to yeah. accrue back the cost of making that mold which yeah. i think has probably done that now and they probably did so. that in the first box. yeah <laughs> they probably did. yeah but you don't yeah. want like a week or two weeks because yeah. people will just hold yeah. fire and and if you see patterns where that happens you know yeah. that in two weeks yeah. time it's going to do that so yeah. well there needs to be a big enough gap that people will go yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I imagine the people that will have bought that box just for the rbts yeah. and then sell everything else yeah yeah um, yeah it, it needs to be a gap but it, it but also as well, you don't want it to be too big because what will happen is people didn't get this box with the RBTs in. Yeah. And then what happens is they're thinking, do you know, I was going to buy that because I was going to have them as, say, a Necromunda team. And then they go, I'll wait. And then it's months and months. Yeah, and they yeah. go, oh, do you know what? Screw it. And the end. I've got a new idea I now. decided yeah. to play Goliath instead. Or, or they got it. enforcers and paid for enforcers yeah, and, and just did, did or, the or do you know what? Just went, you know what? I can't be arsed yeah. about Necromunda. Yeah, yeah. I'll do something else. Yeah. And you yeah. go and it's, you know, and you think... If you leave it too long, people's interest will wane. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and also as well, you just you just feed the scalpers. So yeah, from being on that side, there was that if you give the information and give the build up and tell them what, which is why the the we used to have like quite a gap of releases. Mm-hmm. So we used to talk to the managers when I was a retail manager. You'd have like your six month plan, and you'd see up to six months of what's coming out. Crazy. Um, as a retail manager, and you could talk about that in the store for a time. Um, but then they obviously really, really stop that because they were like, people won't buy the stuff because they'll wait. No, they won't. They're, sometimes they will generate excitement and build yeah. up to that excitement. But if yeah. you give them a thing when it's released and then they can't get the thing, then they lose the excitement. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's, yeah. I mean, that, that, from my experience as a hobbyist, I've been building up and building up and building up to get a thing. And then when I can't get it, because I really want to get those enforcers just for myself as well. Yeah. But I'm just going to wait now. <clears throat> and I, I might, by that point, be not bothered about that project. Yeah. Like, yeah. like you were saying, you no, just give that's, up. Yeah, you yeah, that makes sense. And like, I think it's, um, but it's that fear that it's like it will put people off if they if they yeah, can get it yeah. too early. Or so whatever. I I um I was in uh, in town on Saturday um, because we're going to film some World Eater stuff this week, and I got an email from Element Games saying we've delayed your order because we're waiting on stock from Games Workshop. And then I was like, oh, bugger. Did you not and reply, don't you know who we are? <laughs> <laughs> don't you know who I am? They were like, no. No. <laughs> we have an affiliate link, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, no, no. I, uh, I, 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 like... Twirling your moustache as you stand yeah. there. No, no, nobody should know who I am. <laughs> um, I wonder in and somebody would be like, are you? And I'm like, no. <laughs> um, not because, uh, but then that might come off as like, oh, these are brother in real life. But I'm actually just really... Meek, have See, now yeah. I say yes because I'm a just famed, a hungry heretic. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm just a bold meat suck. Yeah. <laughs> and I hate myself. <laughs> um, what a great combination. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I was in uh, Saturday going, right, I need to get some world eaters because they're delayed and we need to try and paint, yeah. some, paint some this week. Um, and then I got an email f- from Element Games and uh, I got my, all my days muddled up and I was like, it's Friday. And then I got an email from Element Games saying, We've been sent a very like very limited amount of stock for this week's releases from Games Workshop, and I was like, "Oh yeah, pre-orders," and and they were saying like you can still the pre-orders were still open, but they would wait until more stock got delivered. Yeah. So because Games Workshop had done it before, where they've like held back stock for themselves, and it worked. Like I didn't go on, uh, I didn't go on Element Games to uh, to do the pre-order. I went straight to Games Workshop. Um, I think it was about ten past ten. There were still boxes available, and I just bought one. I was like, I, I need it. Like, yeah. as much as I want to support you, your, yeah, lo- yeah. your local friendly gaming store, um, and you know it's cheaper um, from like a filming point of view. It'd be like, do I risk it coming late, and then the video goes out late, and the interest might not be as high? Yeah. yeah. Uh, or does it guarantee arrival on that Saturday, and then we can film like in in that week or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, it's interesting, but mm. um, 
Haven't they had warehouse t- situations because aren't they moving? Because I know they've got a brand new warehouse up at East Midlands Electricity. Uh, East uh, Midlands Electricity. East Midlands airport. airport. Yeah. And yeah. I know the idea was apparently they were having to move around on their uh, warehouses as had yes. some level of yeah yeah bearing some on space it. now. There's big developments mm. with uh, with apparently like with the back end of everything as well, like mm. getting the website up to scratch because like but on the face of it it looks okay but apparently there's been a lot of issues yeah i suppose when you go around the infrastructure has to adapt to it so this is something that i was going to talk about with my (laughs) no experience tinfoil hat on um and and could partially be linked to like the price rises that have announced recently so in the uk is it an average of six percent yeah so it's kind of like 36 quid is 37.50 or something along those lines so with like the kill team boxes and all that sort of stuff, I remember on my first day at Games Workshop, the head of security, lovely chap, uh, was walking us around the site and he said that they had previously had like one factory and that was at capacity, runs all the time, um, and they built a second one and that's at capacity already. Um, so they need a third, but they don't have the space. I think there's those two businesses across the road that they just want to like slowly invade and just be like, can we have your buildings? I am really surprised that with, uh, especially with one of them being a wood yard, I am really surprised Games Workshop hasn't hired someone to burn them to the ground yet. Because <laughs> it'd be so oh, you use- mean Brothers. Yeah, it'd yeah, be yeah. so useful for them. Just yeah, literally yeah. Well, I think they're the looking at, uh, I remember there was... There a couple was of them hired a couple of wrong uns. A, co- a conversation about taking the whole street. Yes, yeah. And then yeah, eventually yeah, the street yeah. becoming like the Games Workshop street. Yeah, yeah. Because the, the head of security was like, I'd love that because I'd have one entrance that I need to keep yeah. keep eyes on yeah, as opposed yeah. to like ev- yeah, everywhere yeah, else. Yeah, makes sense. Well, they could um, just almost gate it, couldn't you? Yeah, no. yeah. So, um, so what I was thinking, uh, or my line of thinking, would be they can only make so much plastic at at, at a time. Yeah. Um, and they're going to make us, they'll be like, right, we can print these kill team boxes. I mean, not print them, but manufacture yeah, them yeah. for like, I don't know because I don't know how it works. They'll be like, Let, let's, uh, we can make them for, for this week, and that's all we can do, and they'll make as many as possible, and then the forecasting will be like, right, well, we have to stop there, because now we're making, you know, the next wave of releases, which might be like, you know, they'll be gearing up for like 10th edition, won't they? And, and so you've triggered something in my head. So <laughs> I say triggered, not as in like I'm triggered. But so I live to trigger. If, it depends where it's been printed as well. So if all the card has been printed in um, China. China, it's got a 19 week window to be made, shipped. Yes. So when they did the forecasting for um, Storm uh, Shadow Vault, yeah. They, w- they gave it numbers and they thought maybe this one could do with a similar set of numbers. Yeah. But by that point, it's already been shipped off. Yes. So then they can't make that change. Yeah. So maybe it, it could end up being like a new made to order kind of thing because it's, like, thing is, it's well, done was... better than we thought. And now we can't change the second one because that's already shipping. Yeah. Right now. So that, that that's like, you know, devil's advocate. Yeah. yeah. No, that's a good point. Yeah. 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 So like they can only make so much plastic <clears throat> in, in a certain amount of time that they're like, this is what you've got. Yeah. 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 But also as well as it felt as well that uh, the the time between kill teams has been getting shorter as well. It has it weirdly. Yeah, well, the, I think the, if you maybe f- got it back to where it was where yeah. it was original forecasted yeah, yeah. to be, maybe they wouldn't have this problem. They could release enough. The first two because it's every quarter, isn't it, or should be? Mm. It's meant to be. Um, yeah. And then we we did the first two. They were really close together. Yeah, they were. And then yeah. now there's been like a bit more yeah, of a decent yeah. break. It's because it was. The paint was barely dry on the breaches. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it's like oh crap, we've got casking turned yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the other, the other sort of sorry, I'll let you finish. No, I've I've lost my train of thought. Anyway. Oh, well, like I said, tired little boy. <laughs> <laughs> so my other point of view, um, point of view and opinion about this is, um, and we talked about it on uh, James Hewitt's episode, is they're just making way too much stuff. It's just so it's something yeah. that we used to experience in marketing, where you're just bombarded by new product, and it, I get that you want to like fan out like a shotgun and hit as many different people as possible. Yeah, but it comes to the point where. Certainly from when I was on that side, you can only be excited about this product for a week. Yeah. And it's like, but I want to carry on being excited about that. Yeah, I want to carry on yeah, making yeah, an yeah. army about that. I want to do yeah. like a narrative yeah. campaign. Nope, this is the new shiny thing. You've got to be excited about that now. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know about the rest of the hobbies in there. And, you know, opinions are valid. All opinions are valid. But personally, I just think it's just, there's just too much too often. And I know it's like more Warhammer more often. Yeah. It's like, you could, you could roll back a bit and let people, yeah. I mean, it, and well, again, they've got investors, they've got um, uh, shareholders and stuff like that. Get all that. Because, you know, you've got to pay everyone's wages and support these people that invest. Yeah. Um, but you make a lot of money. What was it, 42 million profit, something like that? 
But an example of this, which oh, is... Oh, 100, 100 million. Does it? Yeah. Oh, an wow. example of this, as well as the fact that we're now still getting guard release. Yeah. At the same point in time as we're getting Blood and World Eaters releases are going on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you yeah, go, yeah, yeah. One, back again, back in day, um, you'd something had come out for 40k, and then it would be like church bells and tumbleweed for sometimes like a couple of months. Yeah, and yeah. Then, and then when you go, oh, Space Wolves are on the way, oh, big excitement, and it would build. Yeah. yeah. And now it's like, bang what oh, oh hang on you still well while you're reading that get ready because here's the next page telling yeah. you about you know he's yeah, like yeah 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 you're going just yeah in retail it's more, it. I, I thought i never thought i'd say calm down yeah yeah stuff, it's nice I but, love, yeah even if i'm not buying the toys i love knowing that i'm out I mean, there and seeing them but just from a se- yeah. selfish point of view you could more necromunda more often yeah absolutely oh totally christ yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we all know every every model's an every model's an every model's 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 you'd yeah. be like uh, what every every necromunda game needs a cavalry charge yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, when Brilliant. retail and uh studio it was like a month release so y- your thing will be pre-ordered then it will be announced and pre-ordered and then you'd have like like four weeks of content dribbling through um and that helped make yeah. articles for white dwarf because the article in white dwarf could showcase all that stuff because it's all been shown yeah talk about that stuff and then do like different things based on it and then yeah. in retail from that retail point of view you, you you had these hits each saturday that were the important hits That's that you right, worked yeah. on you did your big game based around that whereas now it's weekly it's insane it's just like yeah just it's so crazy much. and and i think like with i'm always i'm conscious of it with youtube not wanting to follow like the weekly releases because there are painters out there say like um like war hipster um duncan to a certain extent but because he's not like the ones that are in the affiliate program Mm. and when the um uh, the announcement goes up that they're up for pre-order they've been sent them early and then that's where their painting tutorials come out and it's like thank you for games workshop for sending this this early um and sort of chasing that weekly thing because we're not in, like if we were in the influencer program, which we won't be, because you know we swear, pegging. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps coming up, but it's a perfect example. Um, oh, that and the fact that both of you work there. Uh, well, yeah, I don't know if that. that is oh, a... that's bloody. I well, sorry, I, but I, so... I'm sorry to disagree with you, Peter. Yeah. But it definitely feels like a case of I've seen you talking to that other boy, so I'm taking me ball in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The the the, the one because I can I can understand from from like from a perspective of like Peachy's gone. He was a big name. I was just a and little he's now dead to them. I was just a little Heretic. who did some editing, and you're more than that to me. Which is why it works. <laughs> um, uh, and but like if if with yourself because you had more of like a, a public position mm. in, in the company. Um, I think if if you left and then they supported you, like the other presenters might be like, hmm. yeah. Hmm. Oh no, I mean I totally get that side of it. I mean I even had chats with certain people around the business when I was leaving, going, yeah, is this a thing? Could it be a thing? They're like, yes. well, you know, we don't do it for one particular person. We won't do it for this particular person. So we're probably not going to do it for At you. Yeah. Day. So they if they su- they support sorry. they support mediocre hobbies. Uh, who is X Games Workshop? Oh, of course he is. Yeah, and yeah. and he did a video about how they were like, because because the idea being you, you can't have a YouTube like Daz had to take his down, mm. um, and and that sort of stuff. And he did a video about how Games Workshop were like, take your channel down, and he was like, I think I'll just quit instead, and he did. Um, and he's in the affiliate program. Oh, now. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So he's like the exception to the rule. Is he in retail? I potentially. I think, I'm not 100 percent sure. I so, but, a, but he big, wasn't a painting presenter. Yeah, yeah. A yeah, big yeah. example of it's got to be if you look at the amount of subscribers and the amount of views. If they won't support Duncan, yeah, there's definitely something going on, isn't he? You know what I mean. Well, D- Duncan I cannot D- confirm or deny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my first day there, I Duncan. I remember you saying, "Yeah, yeah was was contentious. Dun- yes, contentious." Uh, and I was like, mm, "Didn't ask, but okay." Yeah. Well, uh, thanks Duncan. for letting me know. You yeah. see, I'll be really disappointed if I'm not contentious about who Chris Peach who. <laughs> oh. <laughs> piss Piss Creech. Who is this? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> didn't recognise the name. Yeah, yeah. If if, uh, if there's any entries for Golden Demon under the name of Piss Creech. Yeah, yeah. There he is there. I'm a subtle, subtle yeah. in my name in yeah. conventions. Yeah. <laughs> we were talking about that before we went uh, live this morning, weren't we? That yeah. um, it'd be interesting to do like a, a scenery build video, but do it for Armies on Parade and then just do like a cool like, Army on Parade as a set of videos and how we go about building it. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. And then just take it to the store and probably not get very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I think like we, we should, you should make two and then like you've done both of them. Yeah. 
one of, oh, one, oh, one of them oh. one of them you go in as Chris Peach and this is my army yeah, yeah, yeah. and it probably is just like mm, it's all very political I don't think it could win um, and then the other one we find a randomer on the street and it's just like yeah this is Bob uh, yeah, yeah. this is Ben this is James uh, and he made this army it's like the old authors the females they're having like male pseudonyms so when they send them to publishers they got published oh yeah so I can't, I can't think of any there's some famous ones but for are the life I can't think we, of are we not... now sort of lining ourselves up to be the painting phase the naughty boys of Games Workshop YouTube and <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that because we stick up for him from time to time. And today, it's, I mean, yeah, you know, it's yeah. a bit of balanced so conversation. It's yeah. interesting. So, so, uh, oh, my other point. I've oh, re- yeah, I've, rem- I've remembered. Nice. So, um, with they can only they say more, more, more often, uh, and the price rises. Yeah. Okay. So, price rises a crap. Yeah. Like it is getting, it is was already expensive. It's now getting even more expensive. So he's now saying less will hammer less on. <laughs> yeah. So I saw I saw someone post a, a meme on like the forty k. Subreddit, and mm. it was uh, Games Workshop, and it, I think it was like The Simpsons, and they had like a, a notice board, and it was like positives of lowering your prices or not raising your prices. It was like more people can afford the hobby, more people play the game, people talk about it, they enjoy it, this, that, and the other. Literally no negatives, which is obviously coming a very biased sort yeah. of way of going. This is getting too expensive for me, mm-hmm. and 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 they're probably correct in the if it was cheaper more people would do it yeah. but if they have two production plants that are at capacity they won't want more people to play the game because mm. they're already making as much as humanly possible so if they grew to a level that they just couldn't um like cope with yeah. where like everything sold out all the time then that would be bad i think they've looked at everything and gone Right, we can only have this many customers. We need to increase the prices to make more money off of that existing customer base. Yeah, well, this is like a friend of mine. A friend of mine has uh, two barber shops. Yeah, and he had one, and then it started to get too busy, and he needed to open a second one. He opened a second barber shop, and he said, uh, I, "And he had a vacant position." And I said, "Are you going to try and get a local barber?" because they will often bring with a good chunk of their clients with mm. them. And he went, no, I'm going to try and find a barber from out of area because I'm actually at the point I don't want them bringing like 60 people with them yeah. because I can't afford or I don't really want to open a third barber shop, uh, okay, which yeah. is what would yeah. happen. And it's yeah. the same sort of thing. Sometimes, you you, you know, at one point in time, I, yeah. I think that because of the popularity spike for Games Workshop, at one point in time, there was a terrible belief and rumour that they were going, we own... To some degree, it was always people go, they only care about the new player because they're going to sink a load of money into a new army. Yeah. Where obviously the season player only needs to top up every now yeah, and yeah. again. Yeah. You know? yeah. Sometimes if the meta changes, they go, oh, do you know what? I do need more rhinos or I do need more, yeah. you know, cavalry yeah. or whatever. So I can see, and you go, but, but now I don't think that even is, is a case for them now of going, we only worry about the new player because I just think yeah. it's just it's such a level of popularity I mean, the, that the it amount, doesn't work like yeah, that. Yeah, the amount of people that I've seen New Year, New Army yeah, and yeah. how that's become a thing. Um, Which I think is a bloody terrible idea. Because you do new armies all the time, anyway. <laughs> so, so MS, Dave on MS Paint. Yeah, you said it didn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, I mean, I'm yeah. always doing new armies. So why should they start the year matter? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's, it's just a nice but task, but new, yeah. title. But, but new army, new, new new year, new army. I think Jesus Christ, I'm still trying to paint the army that was new three years ago. Yeah. 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 A new yeah. one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's mad. I mean, the only army I've got that's fully painted. I had to bloody win the sodden thing. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, that's true. Get your jeans steel. I mean, I don't know how long yeah. this argument can last, but there's still, I think, elements of small business, big business. Yeah, crossovers. Yeah, but it's been about fifteen, twenty years now. I mean, there must be a point where it's like, yeah, we're, we're, we are a big corporation now. We should have our yes cack together. Yeah, um, I'm going to say poop for the German audience because why not? <laughs> well, you just said. Uh, Cack, didn't you? Yeah, it's cack. In, that's poop in German. Oh right, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I was like, I was like, I, I thought, don't know I how thought you never got that job at the UN. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see that. Just pe- peachy wondering it. Just stop bombing each other. Yeah. <laughs> it's get, cack. All you need to do to, to see who owns the territory is peg each other. Just get a peg, clothesline peg, and just, you, you peg them for territory. They peg you. Yeah. Oh, uh, they, they took it the wrong way, literally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or the right way no oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. but yeah I think that, that there's elements of um, growing and 
supply and demand. Yeah. Um, and, I, and I think like the worst sort of release would have been um, Curse City because it just didn't make enough. That, yeah. That was obvious. Oh, yeah, we talked yeah, about yeah, yeah. We did the whole episodes on it. Well, yeah, but that, that, that was like a clear... And I think I remember there's some previous ones where a few forecasting staff got really bollocked because of Ooh, like right. just poor forecasting but it is yeah. guesswork right it's like being yeah. a weather person you are yeah. guessing you look at all the facts that you can yeah not facts the evidence in front of you and yeah give your best guess as to what it could be yeah some of those are new some of those have been there for years and some of them are experienced enough to know the hobby i bet and it's go, a, that'll do well that'll i bet it's well. a nightmare balancing act as well because if if they're making as much plastic as they can make if you make more of one thing you're going to have to make less of another Oh, wouldn't it be funny? Wouldn't it be a major big be... irony grenade thrown in there is if they weren't making enough Arbites and everyone wants them, but had made a Paris. load of those new Desolator squads. <laughs> <laughs> Still in the warehouse. That's, that's why they didn't have enough, because they're all in the warehouse. <laughs> and, and no one... And no one has been proud to be part of the team. I've not seen anyone say that yet. I've, not, I've looked. I've scanned across Facebook. Uh, not Facebook. Oh, I suppose I could do, but I Instagram. I really think I can count on one hand the amount of people who have actually said the words, I like them. Yeah, yeah. I, re- I don't know whether people are now just a little bit scared because they don't want being piled on on, on social media. So go- there was a, a guy, I can't remember I can't remember who he is. Um, I think someone asked if we could talk about it. Um which I guess we can touch on, but um, to to a point where why people maybe don't put their names to 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 being part of the team that mm. knew the dog's uncle's cousin's nephew that was in the same room that sniffed it or whatever. Um, <laughs> well done. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was alright though, wasn't it? It was good. It was, um, it was uh, the chap that designed the Rogel Dawn, um, and it and and this was pre uh, Bottom Gate. Um, Bottom uh, gate. Oh, Rogel Dawn the tank. Yes, yeah. I was yeah. a bit confused. Then for a second, I was thinking the prime <laughs> arc. Yeah. What's and, wrong, with, I mean, that, what's wrong with his bottom? That's my other thing about naming conventions. But carry on. Yeah, yeah. So um, and uh, then it obviously came out that it didn't have a floor panel. Yeah. Um, and uh, Hellstone Wargaming put a funny video up because he designed uh, like and three D printed like a panel and sold it and then did a video about how it just went insanely popular <laughs> uh, and and all all the all the stuff that went with it. Uh, it was very funny. I suggest you watch it. But anyway, um, yeah. So the the person that either I think I think the designer or the one of the painters or something along those lines, where it's like you have to connect the dots. It's like what does it say in their bio? Oh, miniature designer at Games Workshop. Proud to be part. Right. Okay. They made that. So yeah. they made that, and yeah. and then someone said, "Oh, I asked them, like, you know, politely, like, what was the reason why it didn't have a, a bottom on it?" And then he, they said the comment got deleted. Oh. Um, oh. So oh, well, that okay. that designer, because I I know I know. Damn, like, I was looking forward to the answer then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. So so they obviously were just like, oh god. I'm so sick of this and just just going deleting comments about flaws. Yeah. Um, because there's probably like as as a creative, I bet they wanted to put a floor on, but yeah, were yeah. probably told that they couldn't. Yeah. And yeah. then and then even if somebody does really nicely ask, I mean, I didn't see the comment. They might have just gone, "Why no floor?" Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And and there would have been loads of those comments as well. I imagine some people well, have been so angry about it; it's been ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. I. I I mean, who has their models upside down on the gaming table well, for a start? So, so to to someone, I think it was. I think you said like, "Oh, yeah, I like to model." Or someone said, "Oh, I know someone that said the blah 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 yeah. blah." They like to model their tanks like going over a hill. Uh, yeah, and or I, I get it. Like well, that. this was the guy. Yeah. This was the guy who, um, when he was going on about it, and I said, "The Admech players." With their whatever that hovercraft thing, is. oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dune Riders or something, Dune, whatever it's called. Yeah. The the Admech players and the Space Marine players with their little Mario Kart mm. thing that they've got. Invader Invader ATV that's got no bottom yeah. on it. Yeah, that's and push said, fit I, as well though. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. I said, to, but I said, but you don't see them. Com- I said, I don't remember hearing them complain. And then this guy immediately went, "Why are you defending Games Workshop?" <laughs> and I replied. I'm not. And can you explain to me in my previous post where I said I was? Where where can you point to the bit where I was defending Games Workshop? Yeah. And he come back and he went, Well, well all right, you weren't defending Games Workshop, but I wanna and then he was like and he was like, Oh well it's got no bottom. He was going, I I model them and I want I wanna see this extensive diorama of just tanks coming over a hill. I mean like I saw uh, I think it was in like a, a Spiky Bits article or something that 
I see the thumbnail of and I just scroll past it. Mm. Um, and it was like to, to accentuate the fact that you absolutely 100% needed to put a floor on it. It was like jumping over a big hill. Yeah. yeah. Because the thing is, is if you think of it, it the, it's still got a floor to a point. To a point. Yeah. yeah. And then that's yeah. like, and then you go, if you got to the point of a tank where you started to see where the hole would have, the tank would have done that anyway. You know, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. oh, come I mean, on. Just a bit of mud will hide it. But, I mean, yeah. from my point of view, it's like, it's not the end of the world. It's it, it, I can see why people are annoyed, but yeah. m- most people don't turn the tanks upside down. They tend to take the toilet well, off yeah. and have it on the side. Well, the thing yeah. is, is in the rules now, if we're being utterly, if you want to go straight down the line on in the rules now, you don't leave the you don't leave the wreckage on the table anymore. Yeah, no. That's why there is a that's why there is a dice roll for it going completely bang. I mean, and oh, of course, I, I yeah. would get if you wanted to use it Necromunda and it was seriously injured, you'd have to turn it upside down. Right? <laughs> so <laughs> I totally understand. Oh, in the world of Necromunda, yeah, yeah, because everything's a, bit, a Necromunda model. Everything, <laughs> everything, everything. <laughs> you'd be like, oh no, it's pinned. Yeah, <laughs> yeah talking about the, the guy deleting the comments and stuff. I mean, I, I I wanted that to happen when I we were talking about the spray paint thing with Marathi. It's just like because it was the same question over yeah, and over and over. Yeah, Why have yeah, you yeah. used this? Why have you used that? I'm like, I'm, I can't answer these. No. Someone just put it in the blooming post at the top. Just go, yeah, this was disclaimer, made pre- this is what yeah, happened. But yeah. you don't do that because it makes it look like someone screwed up. Someone, what someone did. Yeah, someone did screw up. And then Games Workshop, to a point, were incapable of saying, we made a mistake. No, it's not even that. It's like it's we, because how much money keeps to keep wheeling James Workshop out. Yeah, to, <laughs> yeah, to make <laughs> apology videos. <laughs> the mistake wasn't like, like uh, it's a communication. Yeah, if, if, I mean, this yeah. is the thing I used to yeah. say a lot because lots of paints would get removed from range, mm-hmm. and st- so like the cut, the uh, painting mat, we were using that for a year when we didn't realise it had been remo- removed from sale, and we can't show things in the videos that are no oh. longer available. Oh, that was that was the rule, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. Uh, so many times, and like the paint parts. This was really annoying. So the paint parts had a change of label, so it used to have a big shield, and they went down to a tiny shield with more with the words on it. Yeah, and we're told order. Loads more from the warehouse, so we already like stopped full up in the. In oh the, uh, right, okay. Because we had like a an old retail rack of paints. So I'm moving further away from the mic. We had an old retail rack of paints. So I had like six drops, seven or eight drops. Can't remember. Oh yeah. Um, so that was our stock when we we're doing painting videos. Yeah. But there were all the old badges, and we were told by like the bosses in the community to order new ones from the warehouse. But the warehouse would only pick out of a box. So they're not going to look and t- go, oh, the guy's down in marketing wants oh. specific. So when we did the order, we got loads of, old of the old ones again. Yeah. And I was like, I don't think we should do this because people are going to get the old ones anyway yeah. for a long time because yeah. Yeah. they're still in circulation. Yeah. They've not just bin them. But it was just really weird. It was like, no, you can only have old, uh, new ones on, on the videos. It's like, but the, the old ones are still available. It's, it's, the paint's not changed. Just 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 the shield's got sh- slightly smaller. It's not the end of the world. No. We're painting less in. But yeah, I mean, you know, it, that happens all the time and it's a communication thing. And we just wanted like a document every month to tell us what's been removed. Yeah. We never got it. No. So we're doing a video going, all right, we have to redo not. that because you can't use those clippers anymore because they're no longer available. Oh, of course they're not. Because no one talks to each other. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> communication. Yeah. Communication. The bane of like yeah. Games Workshop, I think. Just I mean, in like, I mean, if- I've got to be honest, so I went to, up to Warhammer World the other week and I nearly tripped over one of them pieces of string between the two cans. Yeah. <laughs> It's when you you can't really work out which strings to to what. It's like so many cups in the uh, in the, in the gents' toilet. Which one's that one? Is that is that is that marketing or is that tooling? Hello. <laughs> oh dearie me. Oh, that's mad. Brilliant. So we've got some. We we're talking about the box of gifts. Oh yeah, oh, it's so, the, the box of boxes. Gonna, isn't it? God. I was, I was gonna. Oh, I was gonna give you an that action shot before. Oh, there's oh, bro- steady, uh, lift it directly up. Yep, straight up. Because there's up. loads of walking on broken glass. Yeah, literally. <laughs> ooh, ooh. So, this studio's far too ooh. small. Oh, do you, do you, now what I'm going to do is move my chair a little bit so I can actually get this massive box between us. Oh, oh. Take it in turns. Take it in turns. Yeah. So oh, this oh, is oh, for for to damage oh, my for our audio only listeners. Yes. Uh, the, a box is being moved. A box yeah. is being moved. <laughs> Should you do more um, like that? Oh, I, oh. So you've you've got a left. You've got a collection, almost an army. Is that right? Is one of the giveaways? Uh, yes. Yeah, so Should we explain the the parameters of the. Oh, so oh, yeah. yeah. So um, we can't be completely. It can't be a raffle on Patreon because that could potentially, technically. Be gambling, yes, and and we don't want to get anyone addicted to that. So no, but, um, I mean, at the end of the day, and we you know as a as a 
criminal underworld that we already are. We've got four casinos on the go. We can't have much more going. If we had four I think casinos, is bleeding into my real life. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say if we had four casinos on the go, we would not be filming in my spare room. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least that's what on we the top floor think. of the, one of the casinos, yeah. wouldn't we? Yeah, that's it. That's it. So um, the to enter into this competition, you uh, you do have to be a patron. Um, but you can you, you need to message us your favourite piece of Warhammer art and tell us why. Oh, so it's still it is it's your a competition. Favorite. Yes. It is a competition. And we Ooh. have to pick a winner as opposed yeah. to being randomly drawn. Yes. Oh. So it or might winners. it might be beneficial to to not go this is my favourite full stop. Uh, which I think I have received one of. So yes. I will say, you know... You need to tell us. You know, tell us why. Go into depth. Yeah. Uh, and, it, and there's and been if I, some... If it's a hint, if I gave a little hint, some there has been a couple of times people have sent the same thing. So, I think that's, uh, that's fine. That's fine, but I mean, yeah. you know, have a real dig deep. I think I need to... I know, because then, then you'd be making up why it's your favourite oh, if you had true, to yeah. dig deep. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'd, Dig deep, but don't... Duck off. Dig deep... <laughs> Dig deep inside yourself, yeah. <laughs> and really get get into it as wide. But we don't we don't favorite. want an essay. Is that what you're... <laughs> no? <laughs> Got the parameters for this thing. Just, say, worse, say, yeah. just tell us your favorite piece of art. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me, cool, cool, tell me your life story. Yeah. We'll, we'll start off small. Go start off small. What have so, we got? Uh, I have <laughs> Columbo. Marco Columbo. I'm sorry, it is fine cast, but he is not a bad quality fine cast uh marco Columbo 2013 games day model mm. Ooh. so Do you know what? Like, i don't want that i said like the wooden say, spoon i've never seen that model yeah he's, he's got a um i think that was in my dark times when i, I would say it's a seraphon uh indiana jones crystal skull in his hand and a treasure Ooh. chest full of snakes and other stuff and eggs and i don't even know what that is it looks like a skink's heart so there's that i'll pass that to you okay. oh I was put it I go? yeah go for one of those oh We've got Silas Beastbane. Silas Beastbane. Stormcast Eternals. So, so th this is you could win that. And he, uh, he, what was, uh, what was he, uh, what was he released for? Uh, it's, it's a Warhammer commemorative. I couldn't tell you. It's probably a book or something like that. I, yeah. don't, I don't know. Age of Sigma, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Stormcast yeah. character. He's got a big sort of. I think it's a Minotaur's head. Yeah, yeah he's got oh, a Minotaur's. Kind of, that's pretty cool, yeah. actually. Minotaur's head. I'm like, right in thinking that. as well. The, a preference of which model they'd like as well. Uh, like yeah, your, yeah. your top three. Yeah, yeah, yeah let us know. We'll do our best. Yeah. Then we have Space Marines Sergeant Castus. Now he's a sergeant, not a lieutenant. No, nice. so that's good. It's a rare that we get to see sergeants, not lieutenants, as a separate figure. This is interesting. See, in that in that Games Workshop video where they um, talked about the pronunciation yes, of stuff, yeah. they said it's not lieutenant, lieutenant, it's lieutenant. Depends where you are in the world. But it depends where you are in the yeah. world. And I was yeah. like, because it is a French word, and they say lieutenant. lieutenant. And, Americans and the Americans lieutenant, say yeah. lieutenant. But then the English were like... Well, we're just going to jumble some letters up. Lieutenant, everyone else is wrong. Well, yeah. they say yeah. Bel instead of Belvoir Castle, it's Beaver Castle. Be isn't Beaver it? Castle, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's great. Which yeah. always sounds more exciting. Belvoir. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we got one. Didn't turn out to be the place I was hoping. Yeah, yeah that's it. When when I first came to Nottingham, I was looking at some places to cycle. Oh, Angron. Oh, look angry at that angry boy. Angry oh, we have one Angron as a separate, don't we? Yeah. So this yes. this can be Angron on his own. Yeah. You could win Angron. On his own. He is an angry boy. Oh. Angry Ron. And what Talking briefly of Angron, have you seen uh, Peter Wargamer's uh, conversion of him? Yes. Where he turns him into, as it what had happened if they'd gone... Uh, Lehman Russ. Uh, Lehman Russ Was had gone Lehman to Russ? corn. Yes. Yeah, Wolfie boy. Cool. Is the Battle Force separate? Uh, Battle Force is... Uh, Not uh, added to the other one. Uh, oh, the Battle Force isn't in this month. Sorry, that's oh, gone sorry, in that, the box. Yeah. But yeah. Um, So this, this uh, can I pass you some and I'll hold some? So we've got Jackals. This is the army Ooh. now, isn't it? So Yeah, so we've got one box of Jackals. We've got uh, Space Pig. Space Pig. And uh, two the, there's two boxes of, of Berserkers. Corny Bazrax, as these oh, be called. Oh, yeah. Uh, two boxes of Corny Bazrax. Uh, and... Which, and Angry Ron. Angry Ron. So you could win you know an what? entire... I'm going to sign Patreon. I'm gonna... And that's Angry Ron with these boys isn't yeah it? so it's so essentially that. what will be the the world eaters combat patrol with anger on yeah so you could Fantastic. win that and it could be I'm any level disappear in a minute really. yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah any level of patron it uh, doesn't matter yeah. what level you pick yeah. uh, we also have some old art now people may remember this the collected visions of horus heresy a lot of the art or most of the art is... a lot of people are really excited about the books so this is the collector's game i've art. seen more people talk about the books than the than the miniatures yeah, yeah. because yeah. you know what's great about these books <gasps> the artists are credited oh <gasps> 
Yes. Could you say that louder for the people? The artists are credited <laughs> for the people in the back. <laughs> we also have the Art of Warmer Forty Thousand. So this is probably seventh edition before. I so put what's in that box? Something seventh chronic. edition and pre. It's very cool. And then this is the Art of Warhammer. I don't. I think there's a no. I don't think there's any Age of Sigma stuff. It's all Warmer Fantasy Battle. So okay. if you're after doing a Warmer Fantasy Battle army for Old World, this is the book for you because it's got loads of cool art of all the stuff in there. That's fantastic. So that is a lot of things for this month. That is quite a generous giveaway. It's a that. haul. Oh, it's it's definitely it, a haul, it's, isn't it? It's well good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, lots. Yeah. so yeah, favorite piece of art. Nice bit of story as to why, and then top three as to what you'd like. Yeah. So messages on Patreon or uh, hit me up with a message on Discord if you're in there. There we go. Fantastic. I'm That's very impressive. Thank you. Thank you very much, yeah. Joe. <laughs> yeah. I'm not wearing any trousers. <laughs> As always. It's the only way. We should, we should make that a thing on Mondays, just no, no trouser Mondays. No trouser Monday. Yeah. I, 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 uh, I say that jokingly, but um, I uh, sat down on the toilet earlier today. I nice. Looked, I looked down. <laughs> Thanks. And uh, through the hole in my boxes and my jeans, I was just looking at the floor. I was like, oh, I, need, nice. I, need, I need some new clothes. Yeah. <laughs> I get told off by Liz because I... I um, I'm not sure if it's just because of like sitting down a lot and moving back and forth and talking and stuff like that, but yeah. I tend to rub the bit down at the bottom. Okay. And, it, and after a while, I bend over and it just goes. Yeah. <laughs> it's bigger yeah, and yeah, bigger. Yeah, yeah. It's just yeah. like you've got a massive hole in your jeans. Like, no, I haven't. Oh, I I'm gone. You yeah, need, you need to reinforce your gusset. Because <laughs> <laughs> even though gus, gusset sounds wrong, but it is just a, like a reinforced part yeah. of your trousers, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's yeah. a great way gusset. Yeah. I, I always used to giggle when I was in pottery because the edge of a plate is called a flange. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been watching um, the Great Pottery Throwdown. Um, oh, right. which is like Bake Off but for pottery yes. uh, and that's on Channel 4 and the amount of innuendos and everything is just do they ever do like a scene with the Righteous Brothers music going on in the background mm-hmm. I don't. Uh, what's oh, that? oh, that's ghost. from Ghost. Oh, ghost right oh, yeah, and reach around. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, oh, reach around. <laughs> really? You're not wrong about them in your end, are you? <laughs> yeah, but they, yeah, they, 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 there was one where it was just like, oh, you have to have a shapely knob on top of your pot, and oh. and all this thing, and and then they they look like they're milking cows blindfolded sometimes. Um, <laughs> When <laughs> you have yeah. to, when you make the handles for your pots, and you just have to hold like a long spindly piece in like and just oh yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. my uh, my wife used to work in a library Derby Uni she used to work at and there was there was a terminology that was used to uh, take a book uh, I can't remember if it was to do like the security on it um, and then uh, give it to the person it was yeah. for I need to satisfy your <laughs> book before it can di- be discharged <laughs> and it's like. <laughs> Did, they, did no one think no one what that thought. sounded like? I need to satisfy that before it's... I mean, if you weren't paying attention, you just heard that. I need to satisfy that before it's discharged. <laughs> What's going off in this yeah, library? You can't, you can't just discharge without no satisfaction. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely not. You get tablets for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I feel Ill. even worse oh. now. Thanks, Jeff. Oh, oh dear. That's wonderful. Always happy to help. Yeah. Well, we yeah. swallow a bit, you know. <laughs> Oh, have a good stretch. Oh, that felt good. Sorry, everybody. I need that. I need that. Oh. Yeah, poor Peachy. Bit under the weather. I don't know. I think just having a sun coughing into your face at night time doesn't help with anything. I, I mean, yeah, probably. <laughs> and and it's when he's asleep. So you know, we try and teach him the manners of putting your hand over your mouth when you cough. Yeah. yeah. Or like look away when you're coughing. Yeah. So that's fine. But when he's asleep, it's just like, oh, 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 you're like, oh god. And you wake up like just a child there coughing into your face. Like, oh god. That's that's two days of like sore throat and like runny noses, isn't it? Yeah. Look yeah. To. Just yeah. like outside playing in mud. Yeah. <laughs> putting his fingers in his mouth, coughing it onto you. <laughs> Still the kids. I mean, they, what I really like is when uh, they do like a thing. The teachers do like like a an activity, like making cakes or making tarts or something like that. Yeah. And they go, the children will be making cakes today. We'll be bringing one home. You won't want to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do they, do, they, do they say that? Yeah. Oh, it will come home, but it won't go anywhere near anybody's mouth. Yeah. 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 And there's just that because it's full of kids that don't. They, they yeah. should be washing hands, but they, you know, what kids yeah. are like. Oh, they do yeah, what they yeah, want. yeah. 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 Things yeah. and everything. Uh, so I always used to find that funny. Like, yeah, he's made he's made a little jam tart. Don't eat it. <laughs> do not eat that. <laughs> okay. So so how how do you does the kid go like like does Charlie go like eat this, Dad? Yeah, eat look, it in front of me and tell me how good it is. He did that, and I, I was like, because they had like a picnic at the school, just and turn sideways and put it around the back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> around the back. So what I do is I'll be like. Mmm, this is really nice. And nope. then, because 
kids have short attention spans, right? Oh, look away and do something else. Like bin. (laughs) (laughs) And and then he turns around and be like, "Where is it? I ate it. It was really nice. It was a huge cake." (laughs) Like I ate all of it. Yeah, Yeah. because I'm amazing. Because I'm a dad, and you're only five, so you don't (laughs) understand. You know the one, the one that was, the one that was funny. And spoilers, if you've got anybody watching this who is young, because they're about to be. I mean, we can we can beep stuff, I guess. No, no, you can't beep this. Um, (laughs) Turn off now. Yeah. (laughs) when um, my eldest now being the age he is gets to stay up a little bit later and he was staying up later on Christmas Eve and my wife had just done the whole mince pie and shot of uh, I think it was a shot of rum Mm. oh for Santa for for Santa and she'd gone through it with Elijah even though I don't think my nine year old still believes but is too polite to say anything and uh, and she went there we go so there's that and there's a carrot and there's all the rest of it you know and she went, and I'm now off to bed. And he went off to bed and he was upstairs about half, about half an hour. My eldest was sat downstairs with us. And then I was going out into the kitchen as I went out. I went, oh, hang on. Bang, knocked out. Went, I just threw the mince pie in my mouth. <laughs> and my eldest, even though he blatantly knows, went, he went, I feel like Christmas has been slightly ruined. <laughs> well, what <laughs> yeah. do you think happened yeah, to him? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, there's yeah. no Santa. What yeah. did you do? Yeah. Did you yeah. Came <laughs> it's like, like he knows, but you don't want to see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, my mum and dad sneak presents. I think it was like eighty-seven, yeah. so I was like seven still. So, you, I think it was that realization that it's probably not true, but you still want to hold on to that I, belief. I remember, yeah. I remember exactly where I was when I figured out Christmas wasn't real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're like, I was on a dog walk with uh, with my mum and my sister, and it just all. I can't remember. Is how old your sister? How much your sister got on you? Uh, two years. Two years. Yeah. So I, I was like the the last kind of believer in the household <laughs> well sounds quite religious now um and i can't remember like what triggered it or anything but i just remember exactly where i was like the road i was on where Did i like stood just stand stock um, still and it's just and, like and, and, and just being like but then so you you just put the carrots back in the bag and then you eat the mince pie <laughs> and, and it's just like yeah and i'm like my whole life was a lie well, that was that was an, an event we had that was uh, my wife had gone to get a cinnamon tea from a um from a costa we were in manchester we'd we'd been up shopping and then we were going to have an early um christmas dinner with some of our family who live in manchester because they weren't going to be about for christmas they were yeah. they were going to be elsewhere so um we were walking back to the car and Haley said, I'm just going to go over there. And as we're walking along and I've got Elijah who's only got very young and is in the pram and I'm talking to my eldest boy and I'm going, you know when for, for Santa coming and he went, Dad, he said, I, I'm going to have to say this. I don't, I don't believe in Father Christmas. And I went, and I thought, I'm not going to argue it. And I went, okay, mate. And then I said, but now you're now part of the story that yeah. you have to keep it going mm. for him you're part of the lie yeah you're now part of the lie basically you know yeah and you have to keep it going for him and he was like okay and then the second thing that happened on that story which is not really christmas related but it was quite amusing uh when we got to our vans we were parked in the street where all of our all your vehicles were parked on a slight diagonal just down from manchester university and um i i generally i i genuinely am wherever possible a helpful person and as I got to the car, I'm loading the kids in. Well, they're getting to the, our van as I'm loading the kids in. And I look, I can, I can see a guy's head pop up from behind the car and then disappear again. And then a little, and then I'm like, look, and then, and then he comes up again and then it disappears again. And I was like, poor guy's obviously searching for his car key. So I go into the bottom of the van and I've got a big torch. And I grab the big torch and went, I'm gone, mate. Shout and I run down towards where he is and I've got this big torch I've got this big torch on and I go I'll help you lock mate and as I swing like that the guy is praying oh right okay, he's yeah. obviously a, a yeah. Muslim chap you know and he's praying and he's obviously got his angle for you know for, for the direction to pray and I come down with a big torch shined on like the back of his head and my big scouse gob <laughs> trying to help him look for an imaginary set of yeah. car keys <laughs> so, so I have that two things you know you were saying about remembering where you were when you didn't believe in Santa I can yeah. remember where I was when my elders stopped believing in Santa and then I can remember the fact that I interrupted somebody while they were trying to mind their own business <laughs> bless <laughs> just, just trying to be helpful just to be helpful. That's it. So, I mean, that's sometimes where it's like I could be helpful in, in this situation, but they also might just not want my help. Yeah. yeah. And oh, oh, it's a tricky. Oh, I always it's, forget the Santa. It's, bit. it's a tough balance. <laughs> so, I think again, about it too. It's much. the way I've been brought up. I like to think I'm polite and I'll offer help when needed and say my p's and q's and stuff like that. 
We were talking on the last show about the custodies being smashed in the doorway. Uh, that was one with James because yep. one of the photographers dropped it twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I remember. And there was this weird etiquette at the doors, and I, I used to have a rule, which was like my, my my three strikes. If you if someone never said thank you for you opening the door for him, yeah, I was like you're a knob. Yeah, yeah. Fair. Because I've done it first time. You're like you're probably busy. Second time, probably stressed. Third time, nah, it's unforgivable. You now are not. You're dead to me. Yeah. Fourth time, I will literally push the door at you. Yeah, yeah. But that's where James didn't explain the other half of that story was the fact that that, that army that was smashed was peachy. Yeah. Mr. Josh. Yeah. Titanic, yeah. Booting it from the other side. But but on the flip side, so there, so there was like an annoying etiquette when you got to doors. Everyone would feel that they need to open the door for you because everyone's really polite and it's really yeah. nice. And you'd be yeah. like, if you're yeah. just walking through with a cup of tea and someone opens the door, oh, cheers, bud, that's fine. But the ones that used to get me were the ones that would awkwardly open the door. So let's say you're the door go on bit of role I've play, come go through on. the door right and what they're doing is the door swings that way and they're, they're going to grab me by the ear then the walkway's coming through here, right? yeah I was going Jeff you need to rotate because I can't yeah, imagine yeah. you opening so what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to help this person I'm going to hold this door open go on then grab me by the ear so I'm now I'm now holding the door open right but the only <laughs> this is weird this feels weird I'm touching Jeff's ear so I'm now holding the door for you so this person's now holding the door for me I've got a tray of models I've now got to Lombardo underneath his arm oh yeah because what they've oh, done so is they've you not have taken to... they've not yeah. had no sort of like set, sense of awareness they've just gone I'm going to be really polite and open this door for you like I can get because I'm so used to carrying the door open the model oh, sorry carrying models open the door on my own yeah um, I'll be like Dude, I, I've got it. It's fine. I've got my elbow. He's like, no, 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 no. It's fine. I've got. I've got. I am not that small. Yeah. I am not going to fit under yeah. there without dropping this stuff. And, and I'm going to drop loads of really fragile. And yeah, so many people like drop stuff because people are trying to be overly polite, <laughs> and no one wanted to question it and say it. But it gets to the point where you're just like, no, nah, I've got it, mate. It's fine. You have to be like a bit firm about it. But then when you're a bit firm, everyone's like, not not like super happy yeah, and chilled out. But yeah. in that moment, you just go, no, nah, I've got it. It's okay. They're like. Oh. Why is he? Why is he being mad? I'm not. Yeah, I'm yeah, being yeah. I'm not being I'm rude. Like you're going. Oh, do you know what? I just tried to open the door for that peach. I didn't realise yeah, you're yeah. such a heretic. <laughs> yeah, but I always yeah. say thank you. I, like, I appreciate it. No, but you know, I'm, I'm really struggling yeah. to squeeze through. Yeah, I give yeah, an explanation. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, yeah. I yeah. don't want to do this every day. But, no, no. But there's always that one guy that was just like every time we're just like, don't worry, I've got the door for you. And it's the same guy. It's just like, oh, how many times I have to have the conversation with this guy? <laughs> <sighs> and then you, you end up like just like giving up and just like trying to like Lombarda underneath. Is it Lombarda where you have the? No, it's um. Where, uh, Oh, oh, what I was, what's the uh, oh god the, the limbo the limbo <laughs> what is it Lombardo I don't even know what that is uh, <laughs> drop, a, drop, drop it drop it in the comments like, Lombardo's the Latin American dance is it oh uh, maybe, maybe I, I just did that as well <laughs> yeah <laughs> get, get your maracas out <laughs> <laughs> just, I was like what's PG doing uh, he's just yeah. channeling his inner Hispanic yeah. today no, <laughs> so, so, someone props the door open and you're like not again you just drop the models <laughs> reach for your maracas you were, that's I, how I all just, the models were getting broke yeah it wasn't the door he was dropping them yeah. to you whip like, his maracas out at a yeah. moment's notice. You're like, it's an involuntary response. It just happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Triggered. Yeah. They'd be like, nobody hold the door open for Chris Pete. Yeah. yeah. It gets weird. And then maybe that's why people wouldn't do it. No, yeah, no, no. Maybe. So um, uh, there's still people still hold doors. It was, yeah. it was more, my, I had this rule, which was like, you know, if, if you hold the door, I was, I was yeah. just a bit, a bit of a random second. I do this. I start a story and start from the beginning of time. <laughs> oh, it's fine. I do this with my wife. She's just like, you can tell she's like, skip to the end, please, because what? this is taking ages. What, What is the point? of this so i was telling her about a journey into work the other day where i had like a bit of an incident with a car and it started off when i was explaining about a paramedic being in front of me and she's thinking what's gonna happen i was like oh by the way the paramedic has no relevance to this story. <laughs> because <laughs> about four minutes in I realised I've been going on about this paramedic that had no relevance to the story because I overtake him yeah yeah you'll be like oh, there. and then he turned left <laughs> did, you, did you used to watch Spaced oh yeah, yeah. Skip, yeah. To skip to the, to the end, end. To the end. <laughs> my favourite one of them in Spaced is when uh, Daisy's saying something to him she goes oh she said so oh where do I start near the end yeah <laughs> I'd loved Spaced. Yeah, I loved so it good. so much. Oh, yeah. yeah. Was, was it really, Ties really who was used to like bop yeah. down to the yeah. music yeah. and the yeah. traffic Yeah, and, and he's like, right, I'm home for a pint of the black stuff. And he's like, you can't drink a, a pint, pint of Bovril. Yeah, oh, yeah, Bovril. <laughs> 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 oh, he's so good. Oh, so many, so quotable. Oh, yeah. yeah. What, was, what was it with Tyres? Because uh, obviously he was like a terrible speed 
addict, wasn't he? Yeah. Right, from doing yeah. all the clubbing. I mean, what was it? How was last night? Last night, uh, oh, I got to see if we can get this right. Last night was A1 tip, tip top clubbing jam fair. It was a sandwich of fun wrapped up in ecstasy bread. <laughs> now, if I could just get rid of these deviant mood swings. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, and then, like, the kettle goes and yeah, the phone yeah, rings. And the and the it, yeah. of the yeah. clock. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's so good. So brilliant. many good characters yeah. in space. Spa- yeah. If you've never seen Spaced, um, Simon Pegg before he went super Simon famous. Pegg and Nick Frost Edgar and Wright. Edgar Wright before they yeah. all really yeah. went mm. big time um, it's all on uh, on demand on Channel 4 so Do there we go because it feels like you just did a plug then <laughs> yeah yeah and if you're in the US you could download a VPN and watch it mm. Mm. which we may be doing an ad read for soon yeah, oh, yeah. I, I won't oh, yeah. say anything but we've, we've signed stuff did yeah. you read did you read the script I've not yet. Oh, no, I mean, I I've been right. meaning to because cool. you sent it, and I was like, yeah. oh, it was, I think I can't remember if it was late or not. I was busy, yeah. But I was going to have a look at it the next day, and then life I, I've found sent away. I've, I've sent it off to the oh. lady, so oh, she, she'll tweaks then. She'll probably review it, and then uh, no. and then she'll be like, no, it's really bad. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have a read. I'll tell you if it's going to be really bad or not. Yeah. No, I, I think like it's going to be it's going to be wordy because you have to get all this information in there. Um, but hopefully, it's funny. Yeah. Hopefully, I mean, you're, I you're write it. So it's like, oh, I'm, I'm never like. It's, it's really interesting, like uh, having. I made a joke earlier about hating myself, but um, I always think like I'm not. I'm never. <laughs> I, the, don't know what that was about. What was that? Oh, one of the springs on my boom arm was uh, was a bit skewed, and I was like, mm, I'm just going to change that. Um, but yeah, like like when we had Dave on, I was like, oh, he's really funny. He's great at camera work, and I was just like. I'm just inferior to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, same, same. I was like, yeah. oh, just, oh what, what, what a guy. Yeah. He was a great chatting too. And I haven't laughed quite that hard. Uh, well, I know exactly, I haven't laughed that hard since he told me your pegging story <laughs> uh, with his <laughs> foreign muck. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'll have all seen it by now, but that story, the last minute and a half of the yeah. Dave Walker MS Paints episode, if you haven't, Watch it's it. all worth a watch it mm, really yeah. is but the last minute and a half is just like such an amazing end to that episode skip to the end oh yeah but don't <laughs> skip to yeah. the end yeah. watch yeah. it all yeah. watch it all yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. no no phenomenal. Dave's a legend yeah, yes, really yeah. Is. Like, I don't think we'll uh, earn any, any any ad revenue from that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, that no. episode yeah thanks Dave <laughs> well I gave up censoring him <laughs> it's just like because the Space Marine sensor machine what I, I will have used it already what maybe four or five times yeah. in an hour like yeah. it's fine and you hear a, a grown man go heresy and you're like yeah. Ah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's funny yeah um but the, the frequency that I was yeah. having to use it, I was just like, I, I don't like this. Yeah, uh, yes. This is actually a bit annoying. Yeah. Um, but it's worth him to have him on, definitely. Yeah, yes, yeah, like, definitely uh, and, and people know what Dave's like and, and his videos and everything, so I wasn't bothered. I yeah. just put a little warning at the start. Yeah. Um, but saying, that's, that's his thing as well, isn't it? Yeah. He, he swears a lot on his, his channel. Yeah, so that's it. Incorporate that. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. absolutely right. um, and, and hopefully, if people don't know Dave, they do know about him now. There was one comment on on Discord was like, "Oh, for my sins, I didn't know who Dave was, but now I've subscribed and watched loads of stuff." I mean, I'm the same Excellent. since leaving Workshop. There's a lot of people I never knew existed. Yeah, I mean, I've seen like yeah. faces and heard names banded around the office. Usually good, sometimes not so. And then yeah. you go, you leave, and then you're kind of like, "Who's this person again?" I recognise the name. Oh, yeah, I've seen this stuff. Yeah, I've seen some of his stuff. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. So Dave was quite a new one to me. It wasn't until like yeah. you two used to plug him a lot in your early shows when I was watching those when I was still working at yeah. workshop. You talk about him, the painting coach and stuff. I was like, oh, "These sound like great people. Sound like people up my alley. I'll, I'll follow these and subscribe yeah. to him." Yeah. So, but yeah, that's, there's uh, some wicked people out there. I mean, I'm very uh, unhappy that he came on because uh, I bought a new lens because he told me about it. <laughs> And I was like, I just have to have that in my life. Yeah. And then I have to have the accessory that goes with it so I can make shots like this. And it's all I can think about now. Um, and I've just got to do it. And then I do it. And then I calm down. Well, we've got um, Necromunda to, to, to continue filming. So yeah, there's lots yeah, of opportunities yeah, yeah. to use your, uh, your new there. attachment to your lens. <laughs> Yeah. Well, because because it is strangely sexual. There was no need I mean, I mean, the the, the the lens itself is pretty phallic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's it, it does look a bit dodgy. Yeah, yeah. Um, so so that's completely understandable. The entire barrel like rotates. It's awesome. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. yeah, it's really cool. So, um, but yeah, no. Dave Dave did a video. Uh, it was called like the future of wargaming scenery i think yeah, it was called like that, but yeah. it just had so many cool shots in it and i was just like i messaged him on instagram because you know we're really tight now um <laughs> yeah. i mean we're not and i was just like dave 
Dave, I can't, I can't think about anything else. How did you do that shot? I need to know because uh, I couldn't figure it out. And then he was Dave, like, "Dave is Pat's peer pressure." Yeah, 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 good, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it's good. I like. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I was, I'm, I'm, I was watching his video, and I was like, "God, he's done that well. He's done that well. He's done that well." Like so many good, uh, good bits to sort of draw inspiration mm. from. Mm -hmm. uh, about how like that we can bring into our own painting videos and stuff like that. Super interesting. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. It's it's uh, always developing. Yes. Well, that's the the thing, isn't it? Really, we we tweak. We don't stay. That's it. I don't I don't want to lose that. I don't want to have like we do things this way. Yeah. All and then the time, and yeah. then in five years time, touch wood, if we're big enough to ever have like employees and stuff, they'd be like, "Why do you do it like that?" And if I go, well, we've always done it yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, that's yeah. when I need to shoot myself in the head and yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, qu and quit. And that's when we start telling them that they're, 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 they're part of a team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our employees will be part yeah. of a team. Yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> Get your hands back in shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My faces. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Actually, dear. I wouldn't be there because I would have left by that point. <laughs> yeah. Because I just got bigger again, right? And then I was like, oh, oh, I'm God, too good for this. I need to be an actor now. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. No, that would never yeah. happen because. Thespian. Yeah. <laughs> Thespian, my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, not but oh, that's <laughs> I was going to say, oh, a bit left field. <laughs> Where's that going? Uh, so did you see them? I, sh I shared the meme of like my Morpheus. Uh, I got a couple of people because I put it on my Instagram. I've seen that. Where did that come from? So that was from uh, this, this is the point I want to clarify here. So a few people have gone, ah, oh, that's interesting. They photoshopped your face over Morpheus. Like, no, it's actually a video that was made and I was dressed up as Morpheus because it was for contrast. It was like, uh, there were three videos for contrast. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, it's just really funny because it's talking about like um, it's, it's the Morpheus quote, but instead of like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. about like doing dry brushing and whatever. And uh, yeah, a few people have just gone, that's really you know weird that they've photoshopped your face on that. I was like, that's not Photoshop, that's me. <laughs> that's actually, you. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know. Oh, I'll probably talk about it off camera because I don't know if it will be like not seen as being politically correct or anything like that. But there, <gasps> there was uh, an issue about the colours of the chair um, on the actual show when we did the video. So they've got green chairs in the background. Um, of uh, the, the and contrast video, the one uh, dressed as yeah. well, they were red in the movie. Oh, they, they were red in the movie, and uh, uh, a couple of people were like the color of the chairs is wrong. And one of the editors went, "And that's the color problem you have." <laughs> <laughs> Just carried on. Of, and they're of like, Europe "Oh yeah, in, in Europe, Paris, and Lawrence Fishburne Jr." Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was a weird video, I must admit. And the, the the strange thing about that video was they hired an actor in who did. Um, he, I think he did acting. He did like other like modelling things as well. So he was like an underwear model. And he he did the first one, which was Fifty Shelves of Grey, because um, it was a build up to contrast. Then they did Free Your Models, which is like take the red, mo the painted model, the unpainted model, and then the third one was like Conan. Yeah, um, what is best in life and stuff. Oh, I'd seen the Conan. I think I'd yeah. seen the Conan one. So yeah. um, he was he was in it. So he, he's an actor. He's done acting. Uh, he gave me some teaching at the start of that that shoot, and it was a pretty dangerous shoot because in the middle of Worksworth, and we had all these like camera things, but like kibbled with gaffer tape, and they could have fallen down at any point. And so I was just like, Ugh. but um, I was told that I didn't need to rehearse. I, we would just do sections of script. Yeah. At the time, so we're like, yeah, yeah, we'll just turn up, we'll rock up, and you'll just do a section to camera, and then we'll do the same one to another camera, and the same one to another camera, and I was like. Just for my own security, just so I'm familiar with it, I'll just rehearse the whole thing. So I'd, yeah. I'd like for two weeks as the build, I'd be rehearsing yeah. it to um, it on, on my bike drive to work, on my bike drive back, back from work. It was the most I've ever rehearsed, and I don't know how actors do it. I've got like you know, take my hat off. There must be like some special technique they use to, yeah. to remember yeah. lines and stuff. But my recall's terrible, and I got there, and they're like, "Yep, yeah, just go," and I'm like, "What?" They're like, yeah, do the whole thing. I'm like, oh, that's a bloody good job. It's a yeah. bloody yeah, good yeah, job, yeah. yeah. The worst thing about it was this guy's a trained actor. They've paid for him to come in. I do. And you did all the talking. I did all the talking apart from him. Obviously, his reaction was top notch. It was the best reaction ever. Oh, went, yeah. Contrast? <laughs> Question mark in his head, obviously. Oh, it's, it's like I'm there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it was just like so weird that you got like a paid actor to to just respond and the guy who does, who does painting videos. Yeah. He's always doing all the talking. <laughs> That's acting. hilarious. That's so, so if you ever watched that video, it was fun to do. A little bit uh, anxiety driven when filming. Oh, I can, I can imagine. Yeah, I mean, uh, as For many I, reasons. As I was um, leaving GW at the end of twenty twenty one, I think it was like November twenty one, and um, they were fil filming a Christmas video with James Workshop, <coughs> like all over the, oh yes, all yeah. over the campus. I was part of that as well. I remember that, and uh, and it never got released. Yeah, because um, apparently it was 
of a questionable quality. Oh well, yeah. Or something along those lines. Like it was it was pretty bad. But they spent so much money on that video. Yeah, it was a lot of money. Yeah. And um some of the footage was stock footage from like Nottingham Trent University. So yeah. you see Nottingham yeah. Trent University, which has nothing to do with Games Watch. I was like <laughs> what the hell? Because I think it was like, oh we need like like nightclub footage or something like that and and the stock footage oh, but yeah. I mean I've never seen it but yeah no yeah. I saw a bit I heard tales yeah uh, yeah heard, heard those that have watched it rumours and shenanigans <laughs> and they were like no one else can see this yeah yeah <laughs> oh I'm stretching again sorry it's, yeah it was good no oh. I think well I think we've been going for over an hour I oh think wow. Time has, wow time has flown by bedtime now that's yeah, just that's all drawn down yeah, power down yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, yes, I mean, as we always say, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Join yeah. our Patreon. You join our Patreon. Giveaways. Think about your lovely piece of by your favourite 40k piece yes, of art. Yes, please do. Yeah. Or Warhammer art, not 40k. It can art. be both. Any, yeah. Anything from yeah. within the stable. Someone said, can and, it be uh, fan art? Yes, it can. Yes. Yeah. Can it be something that you draw on yourself? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, if you want to. And why it's your favourite. Yeah, yeah just why it's your favourite. Because I'm awesome and I did it myself. An amazing call to be... Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. And uh, yeah, don't forget to... L- list down the the top three as well so that helps us pick should we uh be at a loose end of like oh this and person all, really wants this i haven't brought them today but i will include them uh i'll bring them for next week is that our as i like to call him our man in japan mm. sander who uh oh, yes who does our uh who's been working on some stickers for us has sent us a loads of really nice decals or decals oh, cool. from a whole range of different uh a whole range of different armies so when you in um, when you, if if you are one of the people lucky enough to win it, tell us what you collect, and we'll do our best to match some decals to what you collect, and we'll stick them in there for you as well, along with a little cheeky. In what paint. way do you mean? Because if they collect like, if they like collect, collectors, well, if they collect like, um, well, I'll give you some examples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there yeah, we go. yeah be good. Yeah, be yeah, good, and yeah. I'll show them next time. If you collect um, chaos, yeah, Sander has very kindly done. Um, he's got a decal sheet which is loads of chaos symbols. Nice, and he's got one which is. Um, checkerboards which you can use for orcs but then there's also stuff on them that look like um they can be used as like um campaign badges for uh, space marines nice. he's got loads of gothic script yeah and things like that so. and uh, so anyone wins tell us what you collect and we'll try and get yeah, some so details like imperial up. guards sister and i tell you what i have to bring in to show it, it isn't something that's going to be in there because he's only he's only sent he's only really sent just a couple but is for those of you who are gene stealer cool collectors he's now done the decal sheet that does all of the hazard stripes for uh, uh, rock grinders, nice, and all yeah. of the digital displays that can go on a oh, rock grinder cool. truck as well. So that's Scumbag Customs, Sander in Japan. Excellent. Uh, so, ever, um, ever since you talked about eye transfers, I've always wanted to find them. Yeah, I've not been able to find them again. Yeah, I've been looking on eBay, and so because someone said they're, they're like, I, found, oh, I found some for like dolls, like yeah. like bigger ones. No, but, there was yeah. uh, a small because I did um, when we did the uh, Cassian and K two S O. There was yeah. like M- Empire. Uh, decals you can't get them on e- ebay anymore you can get all the others you oh, get all the other right. factions apart from empire so they've oh, just right, disappeared we? maybe they sold out because of watching our tutorial maybe maybe yeah. maybe they're still gonna make mm. them but yeah the eye ones are not seen again i've seen people use them and i saw them on some like um D figures people have done them because they don't want to paint yeah. figures yeah. Um, fantastic because uh, yeah I, I can't be able to paint nice yeah Get Santa to make. I'm not good enough. Uh, do an eye ID. Yeah, I'll have a word with him. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, bless him. He is. Uh, he is very good at uh, helping out with ideas and one thing. Yeah. Another, ideas. So, uh, nice. Ideas. That's mm. a good idea. Hey. Sorry. Sorry. It's terrible. I'll have a jammy dodger. Yeah, I think we should call it. He's We're all tired. He's, he's a real expert. <laughs> he's the sort of guy to be uh, good to be a pupil of. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye, everyone. <laughs> 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 awesome. <laughs>